friends, what's going on there? David Potts here with Song Notes, and today I'm gonna to show you how to play Surrender by Cheap Trick. So this is gonna be an acoustified version of this otherwise amazing rock classic song, right? So I had this PDF written up with care. It's three pages, it gives you what you need to know to follow along with this lesson. Lyrics and chords and everything on the first page. And on pages two and three, I have some nice tabs for an arrangement I've worked out. So here's the deal with this song, right? Uh, this is an acoustified, a little bit simplified arrangement in some parts. I'm changing the key to make it more approachable for an acoustic guitar, right? So we'll be in the key of C, right? Let's just use more typical chords. And in that final verse and chorus, when they modulate and they change key, I'm gonna be going up to D, right? So then you can still use D, G, A, a B minor in there, right? It lets you play the song with common chords, right? And I'll show you how to sort of get the spirit of their sort of rock and electric version, but, you know, translated for an acoustic guitar. So I cut a few corners here and there, but it's all good. And the most fun part of this lesson is gonna be what, I'm, what I focus on in the second half, where I show you how to take the melody of the vocals, right? Mama told me, yeah, she told me that be girls like you, right? I have that tab worked out for the verse, for the pre-chorus, for the chorus, both in the key of C and in the key of D. Uh, whatever happened to last season's losers of the year. It's a really fun way to sort of take that melody that's so distinctive and combine it with the chords. It's all tabbed out, it's waiting for you. So enough of my talking, let's get to the lesson. Skip ahead if you know what you're looking for. And again, you can get this PDF over at my website, playsongnotes.com. It's there waiting for you. I got many, many, many other of these as well. And thank to all of you who are supporting me on Patreon and uh, through other ways like my tip jar, it's super appreciated. But with that said, y'all, let's get to the lesson and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so first let's look at the chords and the progression and the strumming and we'll get the sort of basics covered with the song, right? So first up, we're gonna look at the chords in the key of C, right? That's what, we're gonna, what I'm gonna be using here in the first two verses of my, my, uh, my arrangement here. So we're gonna be uh, basically doing a C, an F, a G, and an A minor. Okay, and I do include an F add nine here, which I use in the intro, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But th the main ones here, you know, pretty common, right? Your regular C, uh, your G. Now for the G, I do like to use my ring finger on the bass note, and the reason why is because you're often going from the C to the G, you wanna make that change really easy, right? So see how these fingers are sort of having that nice small transition there? So that's what I'm gonna do. Often with the G as well, I'll just mute the fifth string by leaning my ring finger into it. That just makes it easier to switch to, right? Now for the F, I don't really ever mess with the full bar chord F in this song, just because it's it's a, it's a lot to switch to. I kind of just do the lazy middle four strings, right? Third, uh, third fret, third fret, second fret, first fret. And just mute the thinnest and thickest strings by sort of draping your fingers into them. Right? And if you want an even simpler version of the F, you can just do the fourth, third, and second string. Try to isolate your strum just to those couple strings, all right? So those are the chords you're gonna need. And the A minor, of course, is uh, just standard A minor, nothing special there. Now, um, let's see, for the intro, I have going from this F add nine to a G, your pinky's gonna stay still on this note the whole time, all right? Now this is obviously different than the intro in the actual song. I just sort of, you know, do a measure of each, right? One, four, maybe two measures of each. But yeah, get used to going from that F add nine to the G. And I kind of do the intro a bit freely there as well. So here's the chords, right? Now let's look at the, the, the chords progressions, chord progressions we're gonna need for the song. So if you look at the verses and, um, there's like a verse and kind of like a pre-chorus and a chorus. Uh, and let's look at the progressions here. So if we were to do four counts per measure, I'll do strumming in a minute, right? But basically if we just started doing a strum on just the one count, right? Where I have the chords typed out here, that would give you the foundation of thing, right? So mama told me, yeah, she told me that meet girls like you, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, so that was the first little section there. You do that twice, right? The next part is gonna go from an F to a G to a C to a C. And you play that twice as well. So that would be uh, F two, three, four, G two, three, four, C two, three, four, C two, three, four, F two, three, four, G two, three, four, C two, three, four, C two, three, four. All right, then we move into the chorus. 
the chorus is going to be going from a C to an A minor to a G to an F. Okay. Now you're going to stay on the F for quite a while the second time you do that, but it's going to sound like this, right? So C two three four A minor two three four G two three four F two three four C two three four A minor two three four G two three four F two three four F two three four F two three four F two three four then you go to this away right we're gonna go from C two three four G two three four C two three four G two three four this is one of those sections where I'm deviating from the album a little bit I think in uh, the album they're doing a couple different things there. Uh, I know at the end they would go from a C to an F to a C to a G. So you can sort of pick your poison there. I think this is where you want to uh, bring in the acoustified uh, liberties of making the arrangement work for you. But the, the main the main parts there are that, that verse and the, the pre-chorus and the chorus. So if we were to do some strumming here, um, basically a couple options. You know, you could just do strumming on the one and the three count, right? So mama told me and she told me I'd meet girls like you, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But if you want to pick it up a little bit more, then I like to use this pattern, which is a down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 right? So get used to that without the chords at first, and you could do a, a one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and whatever way counting it and feeling it works for you, you know, get comfortable with that strum. And let's go through each section one time using that, uh, that progression, right? And I'll do a playthrough at the end of the lesson if you want to see how it all sounds together. But that's going to sound like this, right? So, first verse, so... Mother told me, and yeah, she told me, I'd meet girls like you. She also told me, stay away, you'll never know what you'll catch. And just the other day, I heard a soldier's falling off. Some Indonesian junk that's going Now for the chorus, I like to change up the strumming and pick it up a little bit. So I'll do maybe all constant down strums, right? Down, 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 down. So it's eight down strums per measure, but you don't you want them to be of alternating strength, right? So down, 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 bum, 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 bum. Mommy's alright, daddy's alright. They just seem a little weird. Surrender. Surrender, but don't give yourself away. That's basically what you're going to need for the strumming there, right? And of course, you can make it your own. And what I'm going to cover in the next part of the lesson is going to talk about how you could take that strumming, right? The down, down, up, up, down, up. But you really could start to just emphasize and pluck certain strings on your up strums, right? Instead of strumming all the strings all the time, you could be like... adds a little bit of interest there and all I'm doing there is on all the up strums I'm either grabbing the second or third string and just sort of freely kind of improvising and then the part I'm going to show you next of course is the where I'm sort of taking the melody line which I'm going to show, and I'm sort of incorporating that into the strum. It's a very tricky thing to do. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, but it's a good way to have fun with the song. So make the strumming your own, and that's what you're going to use for the entire song. Now, the, the last chorus, there's going to be a key change, and when they go up a half step in the song, I'm going to go up a full step, a whole step, from C to D. So you're, you're going to need to play a, a D chord, a G chord, 
an A major and a B minor. A little bit of a pain, but it's what it takes to play this song. And then you could just use the same exact thing I showed you, right? So, whatever happened to all this season's losers of the year? Every time I got to thinking when they disappeared. that for the end. So same strumming pattern and I have the progressions in my chord sheet as well if you want to do that D version. So now you have the basic version done. Let's look at the melody lines for this song. And again what I'm talking about here is if you were to hum the vocal lines that are being sung in this song, right? The... Right? Um, that is what I'm incorporating with the chords here. And I have the tabs and I'm going to show you how to do this. So you take the chords I showed you already, you take the progressions I showed you already. Let's pause on the strumming for a second. And what I'm going to do in this tab is show you just, usually it's a single strum on the one count of each measure. And on the rest of the each measure, I'm going to highlight the melody notes, right? I don't have the timing in here. I'll leave that to you. You know, you can either be loose or really tight with it. But the idea is I'm going to show you the finger positions you're going to need. And this can be tricky. And, um, you know, whether you want to do this when you're singing, if you sing at all, it doesn't really matter. It, that's the point, of, kind of the point is you can have fun and just play around. So let's go through this and first look at the verse, right? So again, the verse has these two progressions. We're going to play each of these lines twice. Okay, so the first line is going from the C, D, D, to G, da, da, to F, and down to C. Okay, now the notes we're going to play here from left to right are... Okay, so the goal is to combine that melody line with the chords, and that would sound like this. chord I had a little fumble there but you get the idea now uh, let's see here um, first get comfortable with memorizing these actual phrases right uh, and I call call out the, the difficult finger positions where they exist the first hard one's gonna be on the C you know, like your pinky which is pretty normal but you're going to have your index finger on that first fret of the first string and the second string so I do a bar and that it's kind of tricky to do but I call it out there in my tab and then in the next tab, I'm going to have a G, where I'm going to be a ring finger on the bass note, and the left pinky is on the B string, third fret, right? Okay, and then we go to the F. Now the thing I'll say about this whole line is, notice how the highlighted notes are always the highest in pitch, right? I'm never playing a note um, in, as part of the chord that's higher in pitch than the highlighted note. This gives that highlighted note the sort of um, the headspace or whatever it needs to ring out and stay top of top of ear, so to speak, right? So um, that's one thing you want to keep in mind. And you could strum this as you, um, you know, add some free strumming if you want. This is trickier, but that might sound like this, right? So I'm kind of doing a constant up and down strum there. I'm just taking care to never play a thinner string than the highlighted note, if that makes sense. Now let's look at the second part of the chorus, right? So, uh, just the other day I heard a soldier's falling off. Okay, so what we have here, starting on the F, get used to this second uh, string, first fret. That's gonna be the sort of on off note of this sort of whole little section here. Right, so da 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 then to the G, da da da, then the C, da 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 da. So in the C, we're going from first to third fret, 
and then back to first. And then we're gonna start the fourth measure with our C, sort of C add nine here with our pinky on the third fret of the second string. And then let go of your pinky as you go up to that open first string, right? So, just the other day I heard a soldier's falling off some Indonesian junk that's going around. And the second time in the first verse, you're just gonna sort of stay on that that first fret of the second string if you're gonna be true to the vocal melody, right? Because every, every sort of lyric here is a little bit different. Uh, with regard to the melody. So that's what you do for the for the first part. Now the chorus. Uh, again, this note. This is going to be your main note, right? Mommy's alright. Daddy's alright. They just seem a little weird. So the last, last chord, we're going to do the F with open second string, and then we want to go to the second fret of the third string. And when you go to this one, it's okay if you put your index finger back down, right? Because if you're going to strum it, you want that index finger back down. So, mommy's all right, daddy's all right, they just seem a little weird. Surrender, surrender. Oh, I messed that one up. So, surrender, uh, the second part of the chorus here. Regular C with the first fret here, the second string. We've done that before. Now, the A minor, you kind of want to get this third fret of the second string in there. That's gonna be your note on the first count, and then you're gonna to go to a regular A minor with the open high E string. That's a tricky transition, right? Sometimes I sneak in this note on the fourth count of the first measure, right? One, two, three, four, two, three, four, so to speak, maybe the four end count. And then uh, the G, but don't give yourself away. So more of that F with this note removed. It's kind of a lot of the same stuff here, right? It's the same similar small pocket of notes we're working in. But let's do um, that that uh, last line here where we have a little rise, a little ascension. Okay, this pairs with the away. Uh, so uh, don't give yourself away. Then the walk up. Okay, so that whole chorus would be Mommy's alright, Daddy's alright, they just seem a little weird. Surrender, surrender, but don't give yourself away. So uh, that's how you do that one there. Yeah, that's how you do the in the key of C. Now, in the song, the very last verse, they, they modulate up to the key of D, right? So what I have is a tab for the entire thing in the key of D here. This is trickier. Uh, we have a B minor, which is a harder chord to play, and it's harder to do this cleanly. But basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of do a playthrough once here and, um, and give you an idea of what this sounds like. So. That would be whatever happened to last season's losers of the year. This is one of the hardest lines uh, because you have this G and the G is a weird shape. So we're starting with this D with a hard stretch, which is not easy, right? The fifth fret for the thinnest string. La -da -da -da. And then for the A, uh, we're gonna go, we need to we need to go from the open E string to second fret. Now what I do is I just do kind of hard to show this. I just sort of flatten my ring finger into it. You could put your pinky down, but you need to get that second fret of the high E string in that A measure. Now the G is a tricky one here. So we want to do a third fret on the second string with our pinky, and then we want to have our middle finger on the second fret of the second string with our middle finger, like I said. back to a D. Now that G, you're gonna have that a lot in this arrangement, right? So the next line, uh, oh, when I, when I, 
right? Second fret to third fret. I woke up. Mom and dad were rolling on the couch. Rolling numbers, rock and rolling out my kiss records out. Okay, and then the chorus. Now the thing about the D here is I won't do a full D if I'm gonna do the melody stuff. I'll just do the middle uh, th fourth, third, and second string. And you're gonna see why in a second. You have to you have to kind of go. You need to go from open second second to open second third. <laughs> and then the B minor is nasty, right? That same second to third on the second string. Then the A. Then the G. This is the hardest line. Right? So, mommy's all right. Daddy's all right. They both seem a little weird. Surrender. Then for the second surrender, you're going to do an open E string. Surrender. But don't give yourself away. Hey, hey, hey. And then the last line. Way. Right, the walk up. So. And the final chord is this A with the barred second fret with your pinky reaching. Mom is all right, dad is all right. Practical tips for this is it's a lot harder to play than the C version, so for the B minor, You can just sort of bar it at first, right? So, mommy, ma, mommy's alright, daddy's alright. They just seem a little weird. Surrender, surrender, right? But don't give yourself away. Okay, so that's how you're gonna play it there. Hope that's helpful for you. You can get the tab here um, and uh, use this to the extent that it's fun, that it's challenging, that it gives you something fun to work with and, and play with. You know, you can just do a full strumming version if you want. But uh, that's what you're gonna need for that. So I hope this was helpful for you. Again, you can get the PDF for this. It has the key of D version, the key of C version, and then the, the gloriously designed front page, right, with, with the, the lyrics for the entire song and the chords in the key of C and the key of D with some strumming tips and a picture of the band and all the blah, 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 blah. So check it out, playsongnotes.com. I got a lot more of these handcrafted, made with very much a lot of care, and I hope they're helpful for you. So thanks to all of you who are supporting me on Patreon and through the tip jar. Really appreciate it. I'm going to take off now, y'all. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye. Mama told me, as she told me, there'd be girls like you. She also told me, stay away, you never know what you'll catch. Just the other day, I heard a soldier's falling off. Some Indonesian junk is going round.
surrender, but don't